Peace and blessings, everyone. Tonight, we will be talking about the country of Ghana in the West Coast. So this is one of the countries I am definitely considering for repatriation and relocation back to Mother Africa, mainly because uh, the marketing that this country has done is remarkable. Now, of course, Ghana had the year of return, which was highly successful. It brought a lot of capital back to the country, uh, immediate capital, as well as future investment back to the country. So this was a great success for the country itself. Now, Ghana is not landlocked, which is fantastic. If you're into beaches, the coastal region, uh, you will love being in Ghana. Now, Accra is not on the coast, but a lot of people choose to live on the Cape Coast or other coastal regions in Ghana, so that is something to consider if you're into that. The warm weather in Ghana also is a major pull for returnees. If you're comparing the weather to East Africa, uh, where East Africa is more seasonal, where they have cooler temperatures because of the higher elevation in most of the countries. Ghana has hot weather year round. Of course, they do have rainy seasons, but the weather tends to be consistently hot year round, which is a major plus. Now, the cost of living in Ghana is not necessarily inexpensive. So uh, the average cost for a single person Monthly costs are $5.99. This is without rent. And for a four person family, it would be roughly $2,200 uh, without rent again. Um, cost of living in terms of comparison to the US, it is 53% lower than the US. And your groceries would be roughly 40% lower than the US in Ghana. So that's something just to keep in mind there. Now, in terms of buying a house further down the line, the research that I was able to conduct online, Ghana is not the cheapest if you're looking just to go there and buy a, and purchase a place. So uh, between a one bedroom and a studio, the cheapest that I found was on average 75,000, going all the way up to roughly 200,000 US dollars. And this is still for a one bedroom or a studio. Now. Uh, what most people are doing when they are moving to Ghana is that they are not going there to buy an existing property. They are going specifically to buy land upon which they will construct their own house uh, as they are staying there over time. So land prices will vary depending on where you want to be, whether it's Accra and the Cape Coast or any other uh, cities in Ghana. So you definitely want to consult a local attorney as well as a local real estate agent so that you get an understanding as to the correct pricing that you should be paying for that land and making sure you have all the correct documentation for that transaction. Um, that is very important. And from my understanding, there are also uh, other um, things that you need to do. For example, you may need to get approval from some of the local uh, leaders if it's in a certain area. So. There are some additional steps that you would need to go through, which is why you should definitely consult an attorney if you're looking to go down that route. Now, the visa permit uh, process for Ghana tends to be, um, uh, it varies, I guess, depending on what the embassy is willing to give you. So there is no visa on arrival in Ghana. So you would need to get your visa before you depart and you would have to go to your embassy to do that. So the DC Embassy gives up to a five-year visa. However, a five-year visa is not guaranteed, which means they have the discretion as to how long of a time period they will give you for your visa. I've been hearing that most people will get three years or five years, I guess, depending on what information that you fill out on your application, but uh, it's up to five years, uh, not a guaranteed five years. So just keep that in mind. And then of course, once you're over there, you can apply uh, to get that renewed or apply for a residency permit. And Ghana is also in the process of granting permanent um, citizenship for some of the returnees. They already had a major ceremony um, very recently for that, which is a very good indication for returnees that is an attractive quality that they are um, doing. Now, in terms of the infrastructure, 
I did not stay long in Ghana, so I can't speak uh, from my own experience. However, I will say that from the research that I've done online and from what I've been hearing from other individuals is that the infrastructure is not as reliable as I would say some other countries uh, will be in Africa. So there's a lot of power outages, um, especially <clears throat> if you're not in Accra, if you are, even if you are in Accra, there are common power outages. So what is recommended is that you have a backup generator so that when those do happen, that can just kick in. Or if you're planning on constructing your own house that you get maybe some solar panels that will eliminate that problem for you all together. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, uh, I will say the last thing here is, you know, for all the countries, but especially for Ghana, there are a lot of um, individuals that I've seen on YouTube and uh, other places online that have gone to Ghana with the intention of settling, but have eventually moved back to the U.S. because living in Ghana is very expensive, number one, uh, but also if there isn't consistent income coming in, uh, this will pose a problem regardless of whatever country that you're in. So I think the planning is key here. Um, planning regardless of wherever you go is important because you need to figure out how are you gonna pay your monthly expenses? How are you going to maintain uh, your lifestyle? Um, you need to figure out how you will do these things before you get there so that you don't end up spending so much money uh, it's very expensive to relocate yourself back to Africa and then finding out that, okay, I can't stay here, so I have to come back to either the U.S. or whatever country of origin you're coming from. So just keep that in mind. I think the planning is crucial. Uh, it's something that I'm also still in the midst of doing myself, but definitely have a strong plan before you get there so that once you're there, uh, you can figure out, um, or you already know how you will maintain yourself during your uh, settlement there. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. These are just my quick thoughts on Ghana. Uh, again, this is the country that I probably know the least about, but I still am considering it very heavily. So I will speak to you soon in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Take care, bye.